Hello and welcome back to the Philly and Plays YouTube channel. I'm here in the pre-IAE PTU build checking out the new and very janky Tumbral Storm light tank. Obviously what happens in the test build hopefully stays in the test build, so a lot of what you see here should get polished before it is officially released to the live servers. That said, ground vehicles in Star Citizen unfortunately still feel absolutely terrible, and the storm is no exception, driving akin to an overly eager plastic giraffe attempting to ice skate. The bespoke size 3 turret can be used in both a fixed and remote configuration, and currently is a bit underwhelming on first impressions. I'll test it in more detail after the official release. The overall style and detail of the Storm is, as always, absolutely immaculate. There's a great deal of functionality on the exterior, with component access, weapon and equipment stowage, and even a fuel port. There also appear to be countermeasure launchers on the sides of the tank, but at present they don't seem to have their functionality yet. I did attempt to load the Storm onto a variety of ships. As expected, it doesn't fit on the MSR, Spirit, 600i, or a Starfarer. It might fit on the Valkyrie, and does obviously fit on the Hercules. We can actually see that its dimensions are a bit wider than the Nova Tonk itself. Overall, it's a really cool design with a lot of detail, but initial impressions are that it's going to be a severely limited vehicle in terms of actual gameplay, especially when compared to the Nova. We'll just have to wait and see. That's all for this video. Let me know your thoughts on the storm or anything you're looking forward to this IAE. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for some upcoming Star Citizen giveaways, and I'll see you around the verse.